Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so much delighted to have you back on my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to learn programming fast using ChatGPT. Remember to subscribe if today is your first time visiting my channel. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. ChatGPT is currently trending. And you know what? It's so, so, so amazing. Okay, I have a video already on ChatGPT. I've given some explanation to that. But today, let's see how we can actually start programming or learn programming fast using ChatGPT. Now, before you come to this page, you first need to go to OpenAI, that's OpenAI.com, and click on this link, introducing ChatGPT research release. Okay, or you can just come to the footer here and do that. And then you first, you have to sign up and then you have to come to this page. This is where you have to interact with the ChatGPT. Now, assume you want to learn programming, you don't understand something, you want to do that. You can equally do that. So let's say we want to learn how to connect a database. We want to connect a database in PHP. Okay. We want to connect a database using PHP. You can easily come here and say how to connect a database using PHP. And let's see the amazing explanation we're going to get. ChatGPT is going to give us amazing explanation. So you see, connect to a database from a PHP script using the MySQL like function. So it's going to give us actually the function to connect to what this database. Okay. So it's going to do that for us. It's going to give us explanation to this. And there are several ways to do that. Okay. So this is amazing. If you use a function, this is how you go about it. If you don't want to use this form, you can regenerate this code and it's going to give you another way to do this. So remember, you are always going to have different ways to write this code. People write codes in different ways, so you can try any of them. So we're going to try and regenerate this code and see if you are still going to get the same code. Personally, I don't connect my database to, I don't connect my program to the database using this way. So let's say we want to regenerate this. Let's see what we're going to get. So let's look at the steps. So install PHP MySQL extension, open a connection to your MySQL server using this. So basically, this is a format I use. Okay. So I regenerated this code and it's giving me this. So you have to just stick to one way of doing it, the one that best works for you. The one that best works for you, you have to stick to that. So you can see it's explaining every line of this code. Okay, check the connection was successful. And then you can see amazing. Everything is there for us. So all you have to do is you can easily copy this code. So these are the code you can easily click on that copy. And then you can move this code to your favorite code editor. Okay. And then paste it there and then start using it. This is actual PHP code. And then if you want to code in PHP, remember this is a server side scripted language. So you need to have a local host running on your PC. Use a, either use a ZAMP or a WAMP to run that. But for PHP, just as we know, this is a markup language which we can run directly. So if you want to write program using ChatGPT, it's so easy. It's going to give you every explanation to that. So this is. One of the ways and i prefer writing or connecting to my database using this format you can also stick to the other one whichever works for you we have the pdu so this will help you as we want to create a form in php and you don't know how to do that as a beginner you can easily use chat gpt to do that so i can easily come down here and say how to create forms in what html Okay, so it's actually going to go ahead and then show me how to create a form. And all I have to do is to go ahead and copy this code. Okay, ATML form I used to collect input. It's actually one of the best things that it's actually going to give you the explanation first before writing the code. Okay, so use ATML to collect data or input from users. So this is just a simple contact form or whatever form you want to create. ChatGPT is going to do that for you. So how to print or how to print something in python you don't know how to do that you can easily add you can easily ask chat gpt to do that for you so this is going to be very very easy we will learn how we can start a full program use chat gpt to guide whatever we are doing and then we can create an amazing program it's pretty new but i believe it's going to go through a lot of process and it's actually going to get even better so Finally, before I end this video, I will just 
humbly request that you subscribe to this channel because i have amazing content coming up later this year and you can't afford to miss that okay there's a lot coming so stay tuned for that so what is php you can easily do that here yeah, what is php and this question and it's going to explain that for us so we all know php is hypertext preprocessor and it's a server-side scripted language that is widely used for web development it is used to create dynamic website that can interact with database process from data generate content on the fly php is an open source language so it's going to actually give you explanation so you can stick to just chat gpt and learn a particular programming language okay remember if you don't understand it you can ask for details so you can say give me more details okay and chat gpt will not hesitate to do that sure he has a few more details about php so that is amazing like subscribe for more of my amazing video tutorials and also leave your comment at the comment section if you enjoyed this video and remember there's a lot going to come up later this year and we'll be doing a lot and you can use this strategy to develop apps and start making money what about if you want to even learn how to start developing mobile apps and you don't even know the best programming language to start with you can easily come here and then you can use this place as your home to start your next it journey you can also use to generate business ideas and there we go okay so stay tuned for that like to like come away again always stay my channel and don't forget to subscribe bye bye